Hi, I'm Hub Arkus for Pro Football Weekly, and I'm joined by our senior editor, Nolan Naraki. Nolan, of course, also our lead talent evaluator and the author of our Pro Football Weekly Draft Guide magazine and Pro Football Weekly Draft Preview book. And this is our Players to Watch segment in some of our key college games this weekend. Let's start with number 11, Oregon State, visiting number 14, Stanford. And junior tight ends in this game, Zach Ertz and Levine Toilolo. Uh, the two of them are outstanding prospects. They're both underclassmen, but I think they're looking at coming out in this year's draft. Ertz is very similar to last year's tight end. Kobe Fleener has outstanding body control. He's a terrific pass catcher. Could uh, make things happen inside or outside. He's very effective in the slots. Uh, Tololo is a, a better blocker. I think he's very physical, very uh, solid in the run game, but he's also a solid uh, intermediate uh, pass catcher, so he, he functions in both areas. I think he's a solid second-round talent. All right, Nolan, as a Michigan alum, I've got more than a passing interest in Penn State at number 16, Nebraska. How about Penn State linebackers Michael Motti and jo uh, Gerald Hodges? Uh, Mouty, they're both solid third-round prospects. I think uh, Motti's more of a uh, inside plugger, uh, very instinctive, uh, very passionate player. You see it on the field, you see it off the field. He's known as a team leader there and uh, will bring a, a, an inspirational spark to whatever team he goes to. Uh, Hodges is more of a uh, converted safety, more of a uh, coverage player, very athletic, moves around very well. I think he'll be a solid weak side linebacker in the NFL. A couple more linebackers we'll keep an eye on as Army visits number 23, Rutgers. Four Rutgers linebackers, Kasim Green and Steve Boharnas. Yeah, Green's a uh, to me, belongs on the all-hype team. Uh, you know, he has a lot of stats this year. You see him uh, three forced fumbles against Syracuse. He's played uh, very well if you look at the numbers, but if you really chart him on tape, uh, I don't see the production he's given credit for. I think he's a product of that system, and uh, you know, he could go as high as the second round. To me, he's more of a fifth round type of talent. That's where he grades. But Harness, to me, is a more uh, functional football player, the better, the better of the two. I think he'll be a, a better NFL prospect. All right, lots of kids to keep an eye on this week, and that does it for this edition of Players to Watch. But for all the best in NFL scouting and draft information, you want to stay right where you are at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week.